Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a quick video on the Cleveland Browns being able to acquire another star wide receiver in Amari Cooper. Of course, last season they shipped out Odell Beckham, where he didn't work out there but did very much so help the L.A. Rams to win a Super Bowl. Now they bring in Amari Cooper, a more physically demanding wide receiver than fellow star Jarvis Landry, who, by the way, they also now gave permission to seek a trade after Amari Cooper came in, as Landry now is likely going to go to a team just like uh, Beckham got to go to a Rams team that he kind of fit more into the system, where getting in a guy like Amari Cooper and letting Landry seek a trade makes it seem like the Browns are going for those more physically demanding wide receivers where Landry is a little bit smaller, not size-wise, they're not that much different, 5'11 to 6'1", but in terms of, like, build, he's definitely more of those just speedster, um, can get can beat you deep, great slot wide receiver, great at using his speed, great at p get, making people miss after the catch, but obviously he's not as much of a go-up and get it, be physical in traffic catcher as Amore Cooper, and it seems like from this trade, that at least seems like that's the direction the Cleveland Browns are trying to go because they brought in a guy that is a more physically demanding wide receiver in Amari Cooper and then immediately granted Jarvis Landry the permission to seek a trade. Now the trade as a whole, the Dallas Cowboys are trading receiver Cooper and a sixth round pick to the Cleveland Browns for fifth and sixth round selections. That's also a ridiculous um grab by the Cleveland Browns, I must add. They got him for absolutely nothing. This guy went on the mark, is one of the better physically demanding catch and traffic receivers. That also, obviously, he's not as quick as Jarvis Landry. Nobody's going to ever say that. But he can make people miss after the catch in different ways, by being more physical and also by juking, where Landry's more of a very good um, miss after the catch guy by juking and using his speed and all of that, but isn't as physically demanding as Cooper. I think this trade makes sense because also Baker Mayfield isn't the most peachy keen consistently when it comes to throwing the ball a little bit down the field in terms of pinpoint accuracy. That having a guy like Cooper that's better at physically going up and getting the ball in traffic makes more sense for their team, where that's why Odell seemed like he would have made sense, but they could just never gel. So it is going to be interesting. It seems like in um, in the grand scheme of things, this will be a good fit for the Browns because he's a more physically demanding wide receiver, as I said, and he's a guy that can go up and catch the ball, as I said, compared to Landry, who's just a great speed guy, miss after the catch guy, and slot guy. But the other big thing is, it's not like, like Jarvis Landry to me, has put up good numbers with the Browns in spite of Baker Mayfield and the Browns using him correctly in the in the offense and Baker Mayfield going to him enough and using him and going to him in the right spots. I think he's done good in spite of how Baker's played and the coaching has been in terms of putting him in the right spot. So they're going to have to, Stefanski's going to have to put, um, He's going to have to put Amari Cooper in better spots than he put Odell Beckham during his time there and scheme him better, and definitely during Landry's time there as well, where that's been an issue for the receivers of the Cleveland Browns, working with Baker Mayfield and also being able to get schemed correctly, where that's what they're going to have to see if him and Baker gel, because he gelled, he didn't gel that great with um Landry and Beckham, where now Landry is going to be moving out, it seems, and going to another team to be either their primary target or just a much bigger feature of the offense, where just like Odell was in LA, and then you have Amari Cooper coming into Cleveland to try to be their primary target. The biggest thing in conclusion for me, I think he's a very great physical receiver that can make people miss, very good go up and get get the ball receiver, which is great to have with Baker Mayfield, but how are he and Baker going to gel compared to how Baker, Landry, and Odell gelled, and how is he and Stefanski going to work together to be able to scheme him open? That's what the most interesting thing for me to see are in this. But again, in conclusion, Jarvis Landry granted permission to seek a trade after Amari Cooper is traded to the Cleveland Browns, which I think either way, even if it doesn't work out, is a great risk for the Browns because they gave up late picks. And really, this is a no risk in terms of grabbing him deal to me because they gave up great picks. So no matter what, I think it is a, a deal, because an A-rated deal because they gave up late round picks for a guy to the talent of Amari Cooper. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below of above in the EGG's widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Peace out, everybody.